Hey guys, and welcome back to the hillside. And today, as you can tell, we are not in the garden. We are definitely inside. This is my freshwater garami tank. Um, I had a viewer who requested an update on my fish tanks. And I just fed them, so they were, were pretty active at the top here. I have two of each. This is the pearl blue one, and this one, if I can get over here to hold still. Uh, this color pattern on this one, which I actually like a lot better. Um, they do get along quite well um, so far. I believe these are the males because they're quite a bit bigger. But what I wanted to kind of show you down here, and this is the java moss, which actually I took as a small little cutting from upstairs in my um, shrimp tank, and you can see how it is spreading quite well. But down here, if I can get them to hold still, there's some more. These were the females kind of hang out down here. But right there, and this lighting is horrible, I know, but I'm sorry, I put a horrible glare to turn the overhead light on. That is actually a female beta. Now, I wish she would come out somewhere where it'd be a little bit more better light, but she's a dark red beta. Been no trouble whatsoever. Once I introduced her to this tank, I thought that there might be some issues with the um, you know, introduction. They don't even seem to mind a little bit. And right here, a little Corydora, I believe, little miniature catfish who just kind of helps clean the place up. Here she goes, kind of up here more into the light. If I can catch her, there you go. See? So if you have a beta, especially a female, uh, in my experience, which you're watching right now, they do uh, simulate and get along just fine with the in the Garami tank. Uh, she will come to the surface and feed every now and then. She kind of hangs out by herself down in the moss, mind her own business. Uh, no one really messes with her too much. You know, I was kind of afraid with the long, long nature of their tails that they might get nipped at or something. But I believe garamis are actually somewhat related to betas, so I figured I'd give it a shot. She was, you know, in a little tank, and I just don't like keeping a little beta by itself in a little, even though it is a little beta tank all by itself. It just seemed kind of mean to me with all this space. So I took a chance and introduced her. I figured if there was any kind of signs of drama, I would take her out immediately and get her out. I wouldn't let her just stay there and get, get killed by the other fish, you know, the dominant alpha uh, fish in this tank. But yeah, so if you want to like talk about, you know, wrapping this into some kind of a gardening video, this is Java Moss, and I believe these are Amazon Sword right there. And there's the beta as she's coming by for her cameo. Um, and this in the foreground here is actually a, a fake plant. So I've had some people comment about how much they like my, my plants, but they are, these are definitely fake. And these orange flowers, <laughs> orange flowers, orange plants over here in the red, these are definitely fake as well. So, however, this right here is very much alive. Another Amazon sword, I believe. Uh, these plants are extremely expensive for the, what you get out of them, okay? So, you know, if you ever are inclined to grow aquatic plants, um, they do, they multiply rapidly. This is, like I said, a little cutting of the java moss from upstairs, which I'll show you here in a second, just how much it is just kind of, uh, how much it has just absolutely just taken off upstairs. But anyways, uh, growing plants for the, uh, for the water, for, for aquarium stock, uh, that could be a pretty lucrative kind of business for you if you were so inclined. I mean, just because you're, you know, thinking gardening is only about tomatoes and corn and out, outdoors. I mean, there are tons of things you can grow to, to profit on. Um, I've never been into fish breeding. I don't know how people do it. It's really complicated and I'm not even going to talk about it, but you know, there's fish breeding, there's uh, aquatic plants, things like this. People will raise snails. I know some guy that raises snails for fish tanks and makes a lot of money. Um, I mean, yeah. So just because you're gardening outdoors might be cold and it's uh, kind of out of season, there's nothing else to do. Think about shifting your focus indoors and kind of growing some stuff more of a aquatic style. Okay. So let me take you upstairs and show you the, uh, the shrimp tank and just how insane that tank has gotten uh, since the last update. All right, so back upstairs with the fish tank I showed you the last update. Um, these little tetras of the Colombian tetras, they're doing fine in their little habitat here. And you can see just how much the java moss in the ground there, foreground, background, one of the two. Uh, anyways, it has expanded dramatically and like I said, if you wanted to, you could just propagate the java moss and sell it. It's like $9.99 for a little starter plant of it. It's crazy how much people have to pay for aquatic plants. But if you look really closely back in there, what else do you see? Those are the red cherry shrimp. Okay, they have bred prolifically. They are happy. They love this moss, this environment right here. And those, of course, are about 3 to $4 a piece at your local pet store. I'm sure there's some kind of licensing involved or something like that. But, you know, if you were ever so inclined as to raise your own red cherry shrimp, I mean, that's something that you could possibly profit off of. Okay, so gardening indoors, you know, you can maybe make it an aquatic plant, or maybe even, you know, 
a baby shrimp. Let me check it out. I mean, this is not the best quality because of the, the glare off the tank here, but these red cherry shrimp, the, uh, the dark red ones are the females. And you can kind of see a little bit of the color change, the lighter color, more, more uh, clearish white when those are the males. They're about half the size of the females at full grown. But yeah, I mean, they're just hanging out. They're happy. They love this tank. And like I said, this Java moss is just taking off. This little plant here, um, I'm not forget what's even called. I tried to uh, root it so many times, but the fish would just keep uprooting it. And it's just been floating. Okay, it's been floating the whole time and it uh, doesn't root, of course, but the shrimp seem to love it. I mean, the shrimp just hang on this little plant. Check it out. Pretty cool, right? So these shrimp just kind of do their thing and just live uh, harmoniously with the with these plants, but I'll try not to get a glare right here as a light, lighting issue, but there you go. I mean, just kind of back up to this tank. You can just see right there how much of the moss has just taken over this whole tank right there. So there you go. Sorry, you know, the glare is kind of hard to avoid this the lighting situation, but there you go, guys. Here's a quick update on the fish situation. Uh, I forget this one little guy at the top. Here's an addition from last time, and of course it's not going to focus if, at all and i do apologize for this kind of just ad hoc videoing but you know it's kind of hard to get the fish to behave and the shrimp to cooperate and you got so many variables and light shining off the fish tanks and all but hats off to those guys who you know take their fish tank videos seriously that's just this is just fun for me it's kind of hobby and like i said i had a request so here you go you know who you are hope you enjoyed it hope it inspires you to grow your own uh, aquatic plants maybe bring some life inside keep yourself growing in the winter time when you can't be outside uh enjoying your fish enjoying your aquatic plants and there you go so next time on the hillside garden we'll do some more plants some stuff um if you guys have any requests for updates or suggestions you know it's winter time so there's really not a lot to do outdoors so any kind of suggestions i'll be uh you know, I'll be happy to do it for you guys. That's what it's about. Just kind of sharing, sharing the progress that everyone's doing in the wintertime. Until next time, here at the hillside, you guys take care, stay warm, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.